Well, hi, everybody. Hi, everyone. It's me, John Hodgman. There's my little game. Good morning, and thanks for zoning out with me again on a Monday, now a Tuesday morning at 9 a.m. Stop. Uh, uh, Excuse me. Thank you for your patience. <laughs> I was a little, uh, a little up late last night, dealing with and reading about the news, which is very upsetting, and I and I dare say uh, galvanizing to action. I mentioned yesterday that if you were going to spend some dollars in Alabama. You might want to spend those dollars the Yellowhammer Fund. The Yellowhammer Fund. And indeed, Yellowhammer Fund and abortion rights funds all over this country. That would be a good thing to do today. But let's sit down that burden for a moment and build a little city together. Thank you, Kate Littleton84, who lives in Montgomery. A lot of people there are fighting. There are a lot of people fighting everywhere, and the fight will continue. In any case, I'm small, and the world is big. I will do my part, and I trust you will do yours. But in this world... I am God or whatever, the world of Max Fun Drive Sylvania. Is the music too loud? Let me ask you that question. Is the music too loud? Can you hear me speak? Does it all seem to be in balance here in our perfect little world? Let me wipe away that. There we go. You only hear the voice. You don't hear music. You don't hear the Sim City music playing. Oh, how interesting. I guess I am only sharing. I guess I am only sharing the video from the screen. And I don't think there's anything else I can do about that right now. So you're missing the good. If you're missing the great. Sim City music allow me to also miss it because it t tends to get a little wearying. I will change the setting. I'll turn this down. There we go. Apply. Oh, that's very interesting. So that means that all of yesterday when I was talking to you about the music agrees with what I'm doing, uh, you had you are presuming, and really correctly, that I had lost my mind. You would not be wrong. When I build a lot, the music in Sim City swells. But I guess the good thing, we, you could hear it yesterday. Yesterday you could hear the Sim City music, but today you can't. Is this world not full of sadness and surprises? Thank you, Rufus. That's right. I'm just out here being a master builder. Come in! Fans of the podcast Blank Check will know what I'm talking about. And the rest won't. Can you hear the sound effects? Let me ask you this. If I go in to the city, can you hear... Can you hear the sound of the traffic and the bustle and the hustle of the good citizens and citizens of Max Fund Drive, Sylvania, trying to get to their... What's this, biker gang up here? Wait a one second. Pause on that. I want to check out this biker gang. Who ordered these mods in with their mini bikes? 
That's Logan Brooks. Left work with simoleons. Heading home from a long day's work. Came from Rectangle Shirtwaist. Ooh, that's a terrible name for a factory. Same deal with Raekwon Chiren. Jerry O'Brien. Came from the Asbestos Pillow Factory. I'm going to follow Jerry O'Brien. See where this leads. Curious. No sound effects either. How curious. What if I, what if I, hang on. Jerry, before you get going, what if I unshare? If I stop screen sharing and try it again? They're all driving to the Supreme Court of Max Fund Drive, Pennsylvania. Yeah, exactly right. Not that you need the sound effects. I think it's a little bit more fun, don't you agree? Let's try sharing again and see seeing what happens. Share screen. Use Chrome if I'd like to share audio with your screen. Well, I'm... <laughs> this is what they call a catch-22 because I don't think I can share for whatever SimCity with Chrome. So now I'm resharing it. I've, oops, I've added it to the stream. And we'll try it again. Let's see, let's see what happens if I press play. Well, they all went home to this, their apartment building, the Tillamove Apartments. We see lots of people are lined up at this bus stop that we made for them the other day. And we see one building here under construction. I wonder how that's going. Let's speed it up and watch this building grow. It's taking a long time for that building to grow but once they get it off the ground. So, Lama, you said still no audio, but then you said never mind. Does that mean there's audio now or not? I do apologize. Just voice. All right. Well, today let it be voice, and tomorrow perhaps we'll have the audio back. Maybe they're, maybe they're protecting me. Lama, I do apologize. Uh, yeah, I apologize for telling for stopping the stream that time when I was getting too many comments about the audio quality. I'm just a I'm just an old person trying to deal with Twitch the best I can. Here goes that building going up. What's this? Mass culture, maybe some kind of a theater. If you can't hear it, then I'm just going to put this aside and let's just let's just build and zone together and not I'll try not to make a big deal of it. I will, however, turn off that. It's starting to it's starting to give me a headache. I'm going to turn off the sound effects. I'm going to mute all. There we go. No, I want a little, a little bit of sound effects. When last we left our city, we had just built a recycling factory, which you will find as we stroll down the mountain to lower Max Fund Drive, Sylvania. There's our recycling factory, a recycling center. It is storing 2,000 crates of plastic, and there are no recycling, no recyclables to uh, convert to plastic or to store at the moment, and so let me go ahead and build, add some more trucks. Collection trucks might help. I can put collection trucks, excuse me. I'm gonna add more collection trucks. 
can't I? Oh, there they are. There they are down there. Boy, I'm, I, I've got to say, I'm off my game. I'm, I'm not doing a good job of zoning right now. I can do up to eight collection trucks. And I can put them... I'm saving that for industrial. So this is, I can put them right across the street like this. Just go max it out. Seven. And here comes number eight. I'm actually going to get rid of this one. That's inelegant up there. And I should be able to get that back. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight. Perfect. And I can add an extra delivery truck there. And up here, oh, the delivery trucks can sneak right up into there. I'll put it way over here. And while I'm here, I'm going to go ahead and add an alloy reclamation line, an alloy reclamation line. I'll put it over there like that. Ta-da. Nothing else is going to go fit in there. And now I can add an alloy storage lot to this trade Depot. Right into, I, I do have a plastics storage lot at the Trade Depot, which is filling up nicely. I have a, it's halfway full. And now I can add an alloy storage lot. There it is. Snug that right up next to it and plop it there. And now let's make sure that we are managing our global market deliveries because you can see. You can make money in recycling. And I have made a bunch of simoleons since we started playing yesterday. I think we started yesterday with something like 100,000. I've, I've, I've more than sextupled my money. And that's before I even got this thing going. So I'm definitely going to be exporting that plastic and exporting this alloy. Look at that. Big money. Big money coming our way. And why do why why do I raise the money? Do I raise it for greed, for sheer profit? I do it so that I can build wacky things like dirigible hangers, which is coming up next. But I notice now that we're here in our industrial area of lower Max Fund Drive, Sylvania. We have a little rubble. Yeah, we've had a we've had a bit of an unemployment problem. Maybe I'll add a little background music here in StreamYard. I just add a little background music. A little daydreaming. There we go. Torture us both with that one. Maybe not that loud, though. Hmm? There we go. Just a little something to keep us soothed out and zoned out here while we do our zoning. And some more rubble, an abandoned building that collapsed to the ground. Because there weren't enough workers in town. But you may notice that Johnny Hardhat's not yelling anymore at me. We zoned all that residential sims are moving ins and some big buildings over here wow it's all because of those parks that we built and such now i told you we would build an airship well now what worker shortage well it goes in and out my friend it goes in and out it goes in and out because People move away when buildings start to get large and are under construction. All the people who live in that building do not get counted as population anymore. Hmm? There's an, an abandoned residence, abandoned due to a building fire. Let's clean that right up there. There's another abandoned building somewhere. Shall we go on a hunt for it? Where's that other little abandoned building? According to 
Johnny Hardhat. One of these buildings is abandoned. Got to look for that little floating, floating orange house. Can anyone spot it? I don't see it anywhere, Johnny Hardhat. What are you talking about, buddy? What? Is it behind me? Nothing there. Nothing there. If anyone spots it, let me know, okay? Someone's in the chat. Did they, did they spot it? Oh, wait a minute. You can click the house icon. The little yellow house and it'll take me to it, you say? Kate Littleton. Explain. Explain more. Where am, where am I clicking the little yellow house? It's been a long time that i played this game. Explain. I don't want to hear about Mega Towers. I want to hear about a man. Oh, click this little yellow house and it'll take me right there. Oh boy. What? Oh, wow. Thank you, Kate Littleton. It is my pleasure to bulldoze this house. I have wasted a lot of time in the past searching for those mystery, mystery little houses. Thank you very much. That's an incredible hack that you offered me and I, I very much appreciate it. Okay, but look, I don't want to be all talk. Let's build that airship. We previously put our transportation hub. Hmm, where's our train? Well, here it comes. See, it's coming in. The train's going to stop at the station. Built this train station. <sighs> look at that train stopping. Good job, train. People are coming out. Where are they going? Do they have a bus stop? They should have one. A bus to pick them up. Indeed, a lot of our new residential zone is not serviced by the bus right now. That was an error. What if people want to work at this water pumping station or live out here? the edge of the earth. What about out here? Are these folks covered? Looks like they are, right? Oh, no, they're not. Tisk, tisk, tisk. I am a bad, benevolent despot. I am always malevolent. The wait time for a bus is 31 minutes. And that's not fun, right? So we should build another mass transit center up here. Because as I said before, I'm going to have people come in to visit some casinos that I'm going to build there. And you want to put your casinos bus terminal. throw another bus terminal up there. I'm going to throw a bus terminal. Well, let me see. Where can I put that to Ridgeville? That's going to airship hangar. there next to my water pumping station. Let me check my water. See how my water is doing before I start taking up taking up precious space. Yeah. Let's let's add some water facilities here. Looks pretty good. Looks like I can build this off build all these pumps off to this direction. So that will mean that I can sneak in this airship hangar and it won't mess things up too badly. Ready for it? One, two, three, plop. Now this is going to bring tourists to our, to our city. 
It's not going to bring other workers. You see. And for that reason, you could add a commuter airship mooring. I've never, ever seen a tourist take this thing. I mean, a commuter take this thing. Because one of the ways to deal with labor shortages is to build more transportation and they will phantom sims will come in from non-existing cities and take jobs you know, it's an immigration issue take jobs that our sims don't want but since i have quite a quite a cash reserve let's go ahead and it fits in there so snugly so elegantly let's go ahead and add that let's see if, what happens maybe some people will come visit from other cities but meanwhile, <laughs> there it goes. Look at that. Can I follow it, do you think? Let's see if I can click on it. Yes, I can. Zero passengers. It's off. It's off to get tourists from the region. This is very exciting for me. I hope you're enjoying it. I'm going to take this banner off while we're starting to follow this. There we go. There we go. Bye. Won't follow us out of the city. Let me remove this banner so that you can follow along and see what my hour city treasury is like, what our population is like, etc. Hmm. Someone on Facebook is angry. I don't know why. Maybe because I was late to the zone today. <sighs> I'm excited about the airship hangar, but you know, what we need going to make this true tourist destination is we need some attractions and those attractions and they're gonna you'd be surprised to learn this I don't care about mega towers you'd be surprised to learn this but attractions are casinos before I build another attraction I'm going to build another Bus terminal, double-decker bus terminal, another bus terminal, let's put this one yeah, right over here, why not, another bus terminal. And why that will bring in workers from the region as well as provide buses. And why not a double decker bus terminal? I mean, honestly, why not? I've not built streets that can accommodate streetcars. And I'm not going to mess around with Maglev today. Well, maybe I will by the end of the week. We can decide. But this is why I'm selling all this plastic and these alloy, because I want to see these double decker buses in action. And I definitely want to add more municipal buses. And I'll definitely want to add double-decker buses. Of course I do. <laughs> so exciting and dumb. Oh, I hope this is putting you into a flow state for a better Monday than it was starting out. I'm here. I might as well check our water. I can continue to build out water. This is all good water for me to build from. Problem is what happens when it all goes away. Let's not think of that. Let's think of the future. So these double-decker buses will support mass transportation within the city. Hi, trainee. 
And these municipal buses will also provide mass transportation support within the city, but will also go out of the city and bring in more Sims. Sims will be also be arriving from outside the city at this train station. We're getting 2,000 riders a day. So now it's a good idea to put in a gambling house. Go to my city specialization, go to the pair of cards. And we add a gambling house. You can go anywhere. But you definitely want to keep your gambling houses near where people are coming in to the city, you see. So they'll just come, come visit the gambling house and then go home. I want to save room for a second train station in case I want that. So I'm going to plop it right here in the middle and build from west to east as the, this is situated at the moment. And you'd be surprised to learn that having a gambling house directly across from your home in SimCity actually makes these people happy. can't hear it because the sound effects aren't on, but they're laughing and getting happy. Now, to max out, to get this going, I do need a sign. Casino marquee right here. And who travels on this train? Do you know? Do you know who travels on this train? Just wonder if they bring in a different wealth level or not. I know I'm going to add it, but I'm going to add some cheap rooms and some less cheap rooms, and I'm going to add. Comedy club. And I'm gonna add some blackjack tables. And people will come from miles around. That's what I'm gonna do here. I'll build another one. Why not? If I start building more and more casinos, guess what I get? A gambling HQ. Then I get to add really wacky space themed casinos there's a gambling house I really snug that right up there how much did that cost to put down yeah it's a little too snug for my taste am I going to waste the 15,000 simoleons to make this a little more elegant yeah I am Let's do this again. I want to make room. There we go. For that marquee. Please fit in there. Yes, perfect. That's what I wanted. Some more cheap rooms in the back. Some less cheap rooms up top. And this time I'm going to add a lounge for medium wealth tourists and nickel slots for low wealth gamblers and those will gradually become more profitable one thing though about adding gaming houses they do attract a certain unwanted element of low life. It's all some very people are dying all around us. That's not something you want to hear. The point is there's more crime. And since I have my police station right here, I'm gonna add 
going to trick it out a little bit. Add some cruisers. Now oh, I could add another police station right next to the casinos, but why do it? Add some jail cells. I mean, I don't want to be part of the carceral state, but you know. Don't hate the god or whatever, hate the game. Let's speed this up and see what happens. I'm still making a pretty healthy per hour profit while also starting to re reap the rewards of this plastic. Taxes are holding steady at 10%. Are there any abandoned buildings? It's easy to check now. Thank you very much, Kate. Yeah, this factory, too many deaths. Should I be taking a hint here? Is there a problem with health coverage in this world? Since I am no longer, am I still exporting oil? Yeah, I might as well do it. I'm making a lot of oil. All right, I'm getting the picture, all you complainers down there. This is a good time to take a look across the board and check all of our vitals. Photo, photo op, if you want a screenshot. I didn't want to move all the way over there. There we go. Energy, we need to boost our energy output. So oil power plants, let's add some smokestacks. Combustion turbine generator. It's a little something out there for the ASMR group. 150 milliwatts. 150 milliwatts. This was 7,500. That's 20,000. How much do I care about? This burns less oil. That's more for me to, uh, more for me to sell. So I will grab you up. That shall keep us going for a while. Never put one of the, plopped one of those before. Let's stick with our vitals. Come on out. Let's get the big picture. Johnny Hardhat says, worker shortage. I know, my friend. I'm working on it. I'm working on it. Have you ever thought that maybe you have the worker shortage? Because I'm working. This could be a you problem. Here's the water, Hitler. It's not enough water. Johnny Hardhat on the sewage. He's not complaining yet, but it seems like it would be prudent add some more waste treatment tubs which I can do with oh, I'm, I'm gonna be destroying these factories eventually and guess what I got a worker shortage anyway so I don't care this is all gonna be dump town USA just poops and garbage City government, what's happening in city government? I'm not ready for an upgrade. Oh, I can add the mayor's mansion and the mayor's house. Let's hold on that for a moment. Garbage. Recycling bins are great. Garbage cans are collected are a little under goal. What's happening garbage dump? Why are you under goal? should get more garbage trucks you're right you're right you're right you know I know you're right I can add garbage trucks right well before I do check my water well I need to add some water there water collection in a pinch yeah that's good water it's good water I don't want to muck that up with truck trucks so let me go ahead and Not enough room to increase density. Guess what? I'm going to make it even harder for you. I'm going to add garbage trucks. I can add them right on down this line. Hmm. 
still breaking in. What do you mean overlapping? Well, seven out of eight ain't bad. For this population, that'll probably be pretty good. So, are you happy? Green and yellow jacket? I hope so. It looks like we're burning enough garbage to keep things moving along here. One building burned down per day. We have two fire stations, one down there in lower Maxim Drive, Slovenia. And we have one up here, don't we? I don't, tell me I don't have but one fire station. Where are you? Don't I have one up here somewhere? Someone in the chat must remember. Well, I'll deal with that later. The problem is we have 14 deaths per day and people are unhappy about that. And it looks to me like we have but one clinic going. And you can see by the green lines that our coverage is poor. So let's take a look at this clinic and see what we can do to boost things up over here in the health department. Patients being treated 16 out of 25, patients waiting zero out of 10. But we only have one ambulance. I bet you that's the problem. No one's getting to this clinic because we don't have any amb ambulances. It's hard to see where I should put them in. I can add patient wing there. on that side, so I'll add those ambulances over here. One, two. So, might as well be proactive here and add a patient wing. I can also be proactive by adding another clinic or a hospital. I don't know. Do you think it's time for that? Look, they're going, there goes an ambulance now. I'm going to go pick someone up down here. Probably would be wise for me to add another clinic down here, honestly. And what else am I going to do with this space? those buildings grow. You can see it happening very slowly, but let's speed it up and watch for fun. Right here. This residential area. It's the joy of zoning with John Hodgman. My name is John Hodgman. This is a Monday, excuse me. I wish it were Monday all over again, honestly. This is a morning program in which I help you get a start to your day and mine by zoning out while I zone some residential, commercial, and industrial here on the game called SimCity, a 2013 edition. Our fire coverage is pretty good down here in lower Max Fun Drive, Sylvania. In fact, there's a fire, fire happening right now. Let's check it out on the scene.
Our fire trucks are responding. Who are these guys? Moving truck. People are moving into the city. Do I ever add trees? Just some happy little trees? Yeah, you know, I can. It's not something I tend to focus on. They're complaining about something over here. They're upset that they need workers here, I understand. But, you know, I can, I can try to start seeding a forest in this Roadside rustling tree. Shall I do it? Let's go beautif beautify a city street. Thank you for that suggestion. This area could use some beautifying. Where can it go? Oh, it can go anywhere along here. I don't know, you can't hear these kids playing. They're having a good time. I'm going to put it right here in front of this little trailer. Look at that. A tree grows in upper Maxwell Drive, Sylvania. Hello, Smiley. I'm trying to get a look at this tree. Get out of my way. Yeah, uh, this is a this is a screenshot for the ages. How did I, why did I lose that? Let's add another happy little tree. There we go. This is the one I want. This is a wild scene. Boom. Let's add another one. Let's give let's give them all a surprise. Roadside swaying tree, shade tree, or rustling? Let's add a swaying tree. This is going to make them happy. I bet. Right here in front of you. Huh. Well, thank you, uh, Kate, for those. There goes our dirigible. Thank you, Kate, for those. Um, Sim City hacks. I'm definitely going to get up here and improve this area with some parks in a moment, but I want to continue going down the line. Oh, I don't know what that is. I've built a new clinic. I've added some ambulances. I do still feel like our fire prevention is lacking up in Upper Hodge. I mean, excuse me, Max from Drive, Slovenia. Hodge, Slovenia. I don't really see any any fire coverage up here. Right? Let's add a fire station. Can I plop it over here? Cover this end of town? It's probably a good idea. Let's get in there and goose it up a little. some shade trees. How about some swaying trees here?
some happy little trees. Johnny Hard Hat's on orange. He just wants me to build mega towers. It's a trap. Oops. Now you can see this person's out here begging for the academy. They haven't even moved in yet, though. The academy is a wild futuristic unit. Oh, there goes a double decker bus. Do you see that double decker bus going by? Forget you, dude. Oh, I wanted to find that double decker bus. Oh, well, so it goes. How's our school situation? So far, so good. Timmy the Beatnik isn't bothering me. Thank you, Mr. Dr. Turtleneck. Excuse me, Dr. Turtleneck. We have a high school. We have a school. Do we have school coverage over here? No, we don't. That's something I messed up on. It's part of the reason why this area is not thriving. Getting denser. We need to densify this area. Get more people going to school. One thing we can add to our industrial zone down here in Lower Max Fund Drive, Sylvania, is a community college. That'll make things exciting. Better. Uh, I think there's room for one. No, not there. Not there. Where could I find the room for community college? spot for it, honestly. I love how this is coming together. These factories to advance in tech need more educated Sims, and the community college helps. And placing them near community college, placing them near a the community college near factories, I should say, makes things uh, work a little bit better. Thanks for this comment, Kate. I appreciate that. This is a great way for me to spend my morning. And one, I will be sad that when it ends at the end of this week, but the Max Fun Drive is this week. Max Fun Drive, of course, is the two weeks a year when we, the podcasters, the on-mic personalities, the behind-the-mic personalities, the Jennifer Marmers, the staff members, the Stacey Molskys, the Danny Baruelas, all of those people who work so hard to bring you those podcasts, those creator-owned, artist-supported pod, excuse me, audience-supported podcasts. What if it was just artist-supported? That would be just podcasters giving to podcasters. I guess that's what they call Patreon. There are a lot of different podcast business models out there. This one is ours. It's called the Max Fund Drive. If you go to maxfunddrive.org slash join, you can help us reach our goal of 20,000 new and upgrading members. If you're not a member, you can join. If you are a member, you can boost your membership up a whole different level or just a, a mid-tier, a couple more dollars a month. That counts towards our goal. If you are a member and you're comfortable at the level that you're at, there are a lot of people who can't afford to become members these days. We understand. It's okay if you can't. Obviously, we love you. We want you to be able to listen to the podcast for free. That's why we do it this way and don't put things behind paywalls. But if you are in a position where you can chip in and you want to buy a gift membership for a family member or a friend or a foe or a Max Winster who can't afford to pitch in this year, We've got a waiting list of folks. I just saw it today on a different social media platform. Someone who's so happy because some anonymous person had bought them a Max Fund Drive membership, unlocking all that bonus content. Even at the $5 a month level, you unlock hundreds of hours of bonus content, including all of our previous special shows and this year's special Judge John Hodgman, Judge John Hodgman After Dark. Okay, that was just a little message from our message from our persons our, our, not our sponsors exactly but you understand 
No, the Obey Man, you are not dreaming. This music, this right tree music that StreamYard provides, it's called daydreaming, but this is really happening. Lindsay Harris Fear wants to hear more about the Academy. You know what? I'll start getting freaky with the Academy on Friday, Friday morning. That's when we'll get freaky with the Academy. See where our city's at then. I like to grow a city naturally, and the Academy is a Cities of Tomorrow add-on. It is a future, it helps you build futuristic cities, as does the Omega Company, which is an, helps you build futuristic cities. And they both, they both have their excitement, but I like playing at old school as long as I can. That's why I don't like to go for those mega towers because those mega towers are part of the Cities of Tomorrow upgrade and they just become a real hassle to manage. They're always getting in, into trouble. This is pretty good. My, my board here, by the way, I mean, since I'm talking to you for a second, I just want to admire this city as, as night falls, 10, 12 p.m. And indeed, we're coming up on Brian Lair time here in, uh, in New York City on WNYC. That means 10 a.m. in the Eastern Time Zone. I will sign off soon after then, but I want to just admire the city and have a chance to talk to you all and say hi. That's the Academy. Also, Lindsay points out that the nonprofit theater sector contributed over $2.8 billion to the economy in 2019. I'm just saying SimCity needs theaters. Yeah, thank you very much, Lindsay. And I believe me, I believe in nonprofit theaters. Go Coolidge Corner Theater in Brookline, Massachusetts, and the Brattle. But those things get built automatically. Indeed, there's a there is a repertory art house movie theater in this city that I found earlier this morning. And that was just built by the Sims. That was just built by the Sims. Oops. Uh, yeah, there are disasters. That's true. In fact, if you'd like to take a look, some of the things I can unleash on this city are a, a giant mecca, a meteor strike, an earthquake, a UFO encounter, big lizard that just stomps around the city and then eats all your garbage, a tornado starting to feel a little boring after a big lizard, and then a zombie attack. I mean, that's what we're going to do. I mean, honestly, I, I, I kind of feel like, I kind of feel like what I want to do on Friday, Friday morning is add the Academy, show you some of the mega towers, show you some of the maglev that you can add. And then we're, ju I'm just going to unleash pain just disaster after disaster after disaster and then maybe just let it run for hours and you can see what happens it's a little sad you know I mentioned over the weekend I was working on a different city and I I thought I had paused it and I went to a birthday party and I came back it had not paused it had been running for hours and um, half my city had burned to the ground due to a crime spree it was like the it was like the wet dream of the GOP during Black Lives Matter. The city's burning to the ground. It really happened in this simulation. It didn't happen in real life. But I still made, over the course, I had massed five million simoleons, so I'm not sure why the GOP would be sad about that. City's burning to the ground. Treasury accruing wealth. But as you can see today, they can't be happy about anything. It's not in their business model. Enough editorializing. Let's get back to city making. I want to make this so that I can see your, see your chats a little bit. There we go. So, no recyclables production stopped. Well, that's because it's 12.01 a.m., for heaven's sake. Try to get me... One of the things about SimCity that I learned is... It, it, the sun's rising. It tries to get you so nervous all the time. 
and I don't want to be nervous. And so for me, playing SimCity and getting, being able to shrug off the complaints of Johnny Hardhat, it's um, sort of immersive therapy in staying calm, staying calm and zoning out. It's going to be fine. It's going to be fine, Johnny Hardhat. Workers are going to come in from other regions. They're going to start coming in. Buildings are going to start getting bigger. You can see, here comes a dirigible right now. Gambling House is earning profit. Gambling House A. Down this end, Gambling House B is earning profit. Lodgers are coming in. We have a city hall upgrade and we also have a mayor's house to deploy and a mayor's mansion to deploy. And that increases land value, and that land value increases density. The mayor's mansion takes up a lot of space. So the best place for it is someplace small like this. The best place for it is someplace large. But the mayor's house, you can kind of fit in anywhere. Fit it in right next to this pool. Remember that? Uh, that little park we built there? We'll remember it in a second. Yeah, see it there? Mayor's house will go there, we'll make everybody happy and excited. All those little smiley faces plopping up. Hey, we're here. We might as well add a little park. Let's keep it uh, in there. Yeah, we can. I'd love to put something over here in the corner, but it doesn't want to fit, does it? You know what people love? Basketball. If I put a basketball court there, everyone's going to go bananas. Right? I can put a tennis, a tennis court up here. This would be a nice place to play tennis. Oh, you'd lose all your balls over the cliff. Oh, and I could have put one there too? Oops. What about volleyball? Can I fit that in there? No. Volleyball takes more time, but I'll add another tennis court. Why not? It's a big city. It can use a couple of tennis courts since it's there. Oh, I'm really happy with that. I'm really happy with this little recreation area. Now, if I want, I know the terrain's too steep. I'm not trying to. Now, these houses are never going to get big just because of the way the streets are. But I can, add, I can definitely add an advanced recreation center, which will modernize. You can already see that this house wants to modernize. This is a nice little park I'm building up here. I'm enjoying this. This is sports, the sports section. I don't know that anything else will fit in there except maybe a four square court. Can I get it in there? No. But these little pools are very handy, very cheap, and they kind of, they kind of sneak in anywhere. Not even there though. What about a Swings playground. Will that fit in there? No, but it'll, it'll go along there. Everyone's going to want to live over here, right? This is exciting. I'm excited. Everybody here is excited. Johnny Hardhat, not excited. Still got that worker shortage, but I'm sorry to tell you, Johnny Hardhat, I don't care. I don't care because these big buildings are coming in. You should just relax. Be like me and relax. I had an idea. I dreamed of a city on a hill. And I dreamed that city should have a university. 
and so it shall. And so it shall be right there. It's not a great place for a university, honestly. Well, I can add some stuff in here, but let's do it. This is a great place. You know what? I take it back. This is a great place for a university. Still making money hour over hour. I love it. I'm buying some crude oil, but I'm selling a lot more. And I'm exporting that plastic. Okay. Things are looking pretty good here. Oh, what's, oh, there's the bus. It doesn't come down this way. How foolish of me. Oh, the bus does, but the school bus doesn't, of course. What kind of fool am I? Thank you. No wonder. No wonder these houses aren't growing and expanding and thriving. Is there anyone else? Any place else I need a school a school bus stop? Yeah, down here I do, obviously. We can end on some fireworks in a moment, but... I just want to take a look at this city. It's coming together nicely, I think. We have our school and our high school. We've got room to expand this university, a little bit of room. Not sure how long those houses are gonna last. We've got water pumping, poop flowing. I'm not gonna mess around with the mayor's mansion. Not this moment. Now, is it time to upgrade our mayor's mansion and hit those fireworks? Let's go down and take a look. Not our mayor's mansion, excuse me, our city hall. These houses are all very futuristic because of this Millennium Plaza, this certain plazas and parks and other items modernize and futurize. Let's do it. Hey, everybody, this has been The Joy of Zoning with John Hodgman. I wonder if I can add a new City Hall module before we go. I can. You know I'm going to add that Department of Tourism. Of course I am. Unlock that right, right away. And that means tomorrow, as we kit out our our gambling strip down here, I can add I don't know, the Arc de Triomphe? <laughs> Big Ben? I need some more money. Eiffel Tower? The Edificio Copan. This is a fun one because it's it's actually a residence. The Globe Theater is fun. I can put that there. I can put it there. This whole area is going to become a wonderful tourist trap. That'll be tomorrow on The Joy of Zoning. Maybe I'll add, uh, oh, the petition to build the gambling HQ has been approved. You know, that's coming tomorrow. Maybe I'll add a German high-speed rail station right here. What do you think? I think that's going to be great. I think we're going to have a good time tomorrow. I'm sorry last night was hard. I'm sorry last night was hard. I'm going to slow this down. Go back to my, this pain. And we'll remove SimCity. Is that the question still being on the screen, a bad omen? 
excuse me, no, that's not a bad omen. I just forgot to take the question off the screen. Where is that question? There we go, hide. Okay. That's all for today. It's 10-11, make a wish here on a Tuesday a.m. I'll be back with more of The Joy of Zoning with John Hodgman tomorrow at 9 a.m. and every morning this weekday in honor of the Max Fund Drive. Tomorrow we'll be building some casinos and our tourist attractions. We're going to work our way up to a microprocessor facility. Um, We're going to be selling more plastic and more alloy on the open market. We're going to be making microprocessors and selling those on the open market. Let me give you a good view of the city so that we can all take a screenshot before we go. All right. Ready, everyone? Say cheese. Screenshot. See you tomorrow. On the joy of something.